everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for The Division. This is going to be the weekly vendor reset for all the open world vendors for March 2nd, 2018. We're going to start right here in the terminal as usual. Go to all the camps and safe houses in the open world and show you all the high-end items that are being sold. Any, uh, class, or not classified, any gear set items and any exotics that are being sold as well. We are, if you're unfamiliar with the channel, we do a separate video for the open for the Dark Zone vendors. And then we also do a third video for just the items I think are worth picking up for the week. That'll be like our best items of the week video. But if you wanted to see everything that was being sold in the open world, this is definitely the video for you. Uh, a couple things I wanted to chat about. Uh, the They announced all the global events for this week. So if you're not familiar, um, they did announce on this state of the game that happened yesterday that every weekend in March there is going to be a global event starting with the weekend we're in now. Right now it's global event outbreak. So if you haven't been playing the game for a while and you needed to get all the classified gear, the month of March is the month for you to play. Because every weekend we'll be introducing another global event. So this weekend it's Outbreak, next weekend it's going to be Assault, then the weekend after that's going to be Strike, and then Ambush for the fourth weekend. So all weekends in March will be global events, you'll be able to pick up that gear that you need. So right now the global event Outbreak has Lone Star, Final Measure, and Deadeye. So if you're looking to pick up any of those classified pieces, definitely check out the game sometime this weekend and pick those up. Uh, I personally need a Lone Star holster, or no, I'm sorry. Final measure holster. I actually got rid of my final measure gear because I thought I wasn't going to use it. And turns out since 1.8, it's super OP now, so <laughs> I need to rebuild it. So, so this is good for me. So I'm going to go out and get that holster and uh, have a full final measure set again. Because I think final measure is the only set I don't have. I don't have, period. I have literally all other six piece classified gear sets. And I had the final measure. I just got rid of it because my own stupidity. But. Luckily, March happened, and it's the anniversary month of the game, too. So the game is officially going to be in year three this month, too. Which is kind of cool. I mean, I'm a fan of the game, a super fan of the game. Love playing it. That's why we do these videos. And uh, it's just great. So if you're looking to get back into the game, now would be the time. If you're looking for that classified gear, definitely check out any of the weekends in the week of March pick up that classified gear there is going to be a ton of it and uh, I do like that they're doing this I do like that they're reintroducing all the all the global events too because you know having to wait for them to come back around again would suck so like if you if you just finished the last one and you're like oh man I really wanted tacticians but couldn't get it now at least you don't have to wait for another half a year or like 10 months for it to come out again it'll be out this month so that's kind of cool I do like that they did that. I appreciate that. They are making changes to the drop rates too for classified gear when there's not a global event happening. So if you're interested in those, uh, interested in that, I'd put a video out for that too. I'll put it at the end of this video if you want to just click on it when this is done. And check that out. But yeah, they're increasing drop rates for classifieds too. So whenever you do events and stuff, you'll be able to get more chances at classified gear. Like during the week, pretty much, for the week of March. But yeah, weekends are... Weekends are for global events, so definitely check it out. Definitely pick up those pieces you need. I would recommend getting Lone Star and Final Measure from this particular weekend because Lone Star is a really good build that not that many people use. And I really feel like it's it's underrated because it's a great build. So definitely check that out. Also, uh, Final Measure is just good. If you're doing any kind of group play with any kind of teams, it's always great to have a final measure build in there. So definitely check that out as well. Uh, as far as gear goes this week, honestly, I couldn't... There was a couple of maybe kind of notable things. It's a pretty light week for for gear. No, there was like one mod I think was worth picking up. And it wasn't this one, the signature build resource game. But... Uh, so a little light on that. There will be a couple. Like this uh, Navy MP5 was pretty okay. There will be a couple of things in the best uh, items this week video. So stay tuned for that. 
But yeah, outside of the global events and outside of the drop rate changes, there really isn't too much going on with the division. Now there has been rumor that there's going to be an announcement for Division 2 at E3. Nothing concrete as of yet as far as like they said definitively it's going to happen, but that is the rumor. And AYG does go to E3 every year, so we will be there this year and we will give you the inside scoop. We're going to we're planning on doing like a video video log of the whole event, so hopefully we'll be able to get that on the channel. But that's not till June. So keep that keep that on your calendars, guys. We'll do the best we can about getting any information out if we hear it. And I'm sure like once E3 is happening, you know, massive and Ubisoft are going to be talking about it too. So I'll be looking forward to that tremendously because that would be a great thing to hear. Hearing that Division 2 is coming out, dude, I would definitely, definitely like to hear that. But that would be cool. There are, there's a little, still a little bit of resurgence of players too. So that's also pretty good. And the weekend's always popular on Division 2, so if you're looking to get in and want to get some gameplay in, the weekend's always popping. You can always find people to play. Me personally, I'm still working on build videos. I have my D3 FNC that's going to be coming out. If you watch this stream, because I stream, I now stream every time I do the weekly vendor reset, I stream the footage as I'm gathering it to edit it for YouTube. So if you didn't want to wait for the for the YouTube videos to come out, you can just check out the stream. There's a link to our Mixer stream in the description. We stream directly from Mixer just because we have to stream directly from the Xbox. So it's just a little bit easier on Mixer than, than Twitch. But if you did want to see, like if you're interested in just watching the stream instead of having to wait for the video, we stream it every four o'clock Pacific time. So definitely check it out. So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe guys if you want to see more from RayGaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions, you want to give us any feedback, it's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead, game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!